The clock is ticking, but in which direction is up to you. In this After Effects video, I'm going to share with you several of the secrets behind creating timers and other counter animations here in After Effects. So whether you need to create a count up or countdown graphic, let's get started. Here in After Effects, we'll first go through a basic design to get a strong understanding of creating counters. Then we'll dive deeper into how you can expand this technique into a more advanced but easy ideas. To create a count up or a countdown timer, all you need to do is type out your text and the text doesn't matter what it says. Then what I like to do is create an adjustment layer and go to effect, expression controls, and add slider control. Now we'll go to our text layer and navigate to source text. We will alt click the stopwatch to type an expression and straight away type math.round, only the M is capitalized. Then type open parenthesis. You will see this will add parentheses here in green. Then select a pick whip and drag it to the slider control effect that we just added. This will add this very wordy expression in between those green parentheses. Now we can add a keyframe for the slider, move forward in time, and set the parameter to any number that you want. This will create a count up animation. You can also reverse the animation to do a count down. So yes, pretty simple stuff. Now let's go a little bit more in depth and react other objects to our counter. For example, you can see this circular line animates with our speed graphic or this other circle fully reacts with the counter. To create this, go ahead and select any shape tool that you want or even the pen tool. I'll use the ellipse tool and be sure to turn off fill and set the stroke width to any number that you want. Then draw out your shape. Beautiful. I'm going to duplicate this layer and set the opacity of the bottom shape to around 30%. You'll see the reason for this in a moment, but we'll go to the top shape layer and add trim paths. We'll go to end and alt click the stopwatch. Then pick whip parent this to the slider control that we previously created. As we play through this, we can now react our graphic to our number, which is counting up. Awesome. But let's say I want this number to be 120. Well, when we do that, the graphics max value is capped at 100%. So on another graphic, to fix this issue, all I did was parent the trim path's end value to another slider control and animated that value to be lower than my numbers animation. Also, anytime you work with strokes, you can go into the strokes taper settings and change the start length and ease to manipulate the shape and feel free to stylize your graphics with glow and gradient ramp effects for better designs. But anyway, what about when you need to add symbols like a percent or a dollar sign to your animated number? Well, this is very easy to do. Go to the source text expression and to add a prefix, all you need to do is type quotations, your symbol, followed by a plus like this, and boom, now we have money. To add a suffix, go to the end of the expression and type plus, quotations, your symbol in the middle of the quotations, and there you have it. Perfectly well done symbols in a matter of moments. Speaking of a matter of moments, if you want to add timers and counters in a matter of a few clicks to any of your After Effects and Premiere Pro projects, we have a full 150 template pack with counter slash timer animations ready to go. You can browse through the templates with our Motion Duck extension, apply the template, change the colors and timing parameters, and you're done. You can check out this pack along with our free templates with the link in the description. Okay, so I've made you stare at this clock timer graphic here, so we're gonna go ahead and break this down for our final counter graphic. There's a couple ways to go about creating this graphic. You could use the text time code effect. However, this effect will not allow you to change your font and will limit your design. So what I've done instead is I typed out several title layers, three of which will be used for our number and the other three will just be used as labels. We can also add design with the shape tools. I'm going to use the rounded rectangle tool to create boxes behind the text and I'll duplicate each layer. We can also use the ellipse tool to create colon separators as well. There's no wrong answer here, so create your own design. But once you're ready, let's go ahead and create this legit timer. So create your adjustment layer and add the slider control effect to it, and we'll rename it to seconds. Then we'll duplicate the effect twice and call those effects minutes and hours. Now, let's link our text up to the sliders. However, we're gonna type a different expression this time around. For your seconds text, type math.floor followed by parentheses and pick with the expression to your second slider. Now we'll animate the slider from 60 at the beginning of your timeline to zero at one minute in your timeline. Then alt click the stopwatch and type the loop out open close parenthesis expression like this. Now as we scrub through this, the seconds will reset every 60 seconds. And while we're here, this is a good moment to mention that we need to increase this composition length to about two hours. So go ahead and do that by going to composition, composition settings. But okay, let's continue forward here. Go to your minutes text and do the math.floor expression and parent it to your minute slider. 
Also, let's do the same with the hours text, but parent it to your hours slider. So now, set a keyframe for minutes and set it to 60. Then move forward to one hour in your timeline and set it to zero. And do the loop out expression once more for the minute slider. For hours, this is where things get a little tricky. We can set a keyframe for two and move forward to one hour in your timeline, then set the number to one. Now add the loop out expression, but this time type continue in your expression. And when everything is done correctly, you will have this perfect timer here in After Effects. And that looks great. And another tip, if you want this to go by incredibly fast like a time lapse, select everything and go to Layer Precompose. Right click the composition and go to Time and click Enable Time Remapping. Add a keyframe at the beginning of your timeline and a keyframe at the end of your timeline. Then drag the last keyframe over to speed up the timer like a time lapse. I hope this counter and timer video has been helpful and always be creating.